we're sitting here at a stop where we have a one-way road and there's a truck coming so we have to wait and the dog's got a little worked up with the construction worker that's close to the car so we're just doing a little training exercise to help them relax I'm reinforcing them if they look at him and look back at me all right I want them to see him so I can even deliver the food in a way that kind of encourages Frodo to take a little bit more of a look at him. Although he's pretty focused on the cheese at the moment. Ow! Ow! Good. Alright, so we're never trying to use the food to distract the dogs. We're trying to get the dogs to acknowledge that the person's there and then we're reinforcing them for doing that hopefully calmly. A good indication that a dog's stress levels is coming down is that they start to offer other behaviors like B was just offering a mere cat um, so that's telling me that she's actually feeling pretty good and she was had a pretty intense reaction as well when we pulled up and we first saw this guy. So she's recovering a lot faster than Frodo is. With Frodo you can actually still see that he's panting. You can see that glaze kind of look in his eye. Um, so I wouldn't say that he's really back down to his, his baseline, um, but B is a good example of, good. and you can kind of see how she's, again, she's just offering some more behaviors. Good girl. Done. Good girl. Alright, so we can always take that as information. I like to think about the fact that if dogs are ignoring a cue, instead of looking that as a form of disobedience, I like to look at that as information that, um, related to their stress levels. If I know that that behavior has been well established, that they're normally very responsive, um, then I'm not going to look at that as a dog being disobedient, I'm going to look at that as a dog being stressed. I'll see you guys later.